Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Got the MG17. This is Pro Boat 17 inch catamaran. I've done a brushless upgrade on this boat. We got a 380 Traxxas motor, a 50 amp fly color, little micro servo tactic RXTX with an Oxteen 30 14 free blade. Okay. Um, got a micro extended rudder, center mounted, and a blueprinted at the bottom of the boat. All right, we're gonna run a 2200 milliamp spectrum battery first, and I'm gonna throw 4S in it. Okay, I just put new bearings in this boat in this motor, and when I pulled the motor apart to put the bearings in, the rotor, the shaft, was separated from the stator. It was slipping inside the stator, so I've uh, I took it all apart. I put Loctite on it and put it all back together so hopefully it holds up uh we're gonna try for us in it if it blows up it blows up okay so uh let's get it let's blow some sh up <laughs> ready to go ready to go all right make sure my rudder's down basically re completely rebuilt that motor hopefully it don't get too hot all right let's see what it does okay get it trimmed out hey that's a good way to start it off <laughs> i got my battery pushed all the way back in the back i think it's too far back but we'll see here watch out turtle Yeah, I got it way too far back there. Chime walking something crazy with that prop. There we go. A little bit of positive angle always helps. Oh, that one little freaking, that one little adjustment. I just hit a damn turtle. I hadn't run this boat in a while. Okay, I gave us some positive angle there, okay? Uh, I, I've been doing that to some catamarans here, here lately, especially ones that are wanting to hop real bad. If you put a little bit of up angle on your strut, it'll plant the back. Watch this. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. That's nice. That props too much for this, for this setup. That's actually pretty freaking good. Oh, I hit something. Nope, I just blew the motor up. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I'll do a slow motion. <laughs> I didn't even get to run 4S in it. Son of a bitch. So hopefully it wasn't the ESC the motor I don't care but yeah, the ESC I'd rather not have to replace that oh I gotta make it I gotta make a freaking order for some motors and some props boy I'm having some bad luck some bad luck well I'm throw it on the ground B throw it on the damn ground Ooh. 
see some smoke. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Check it out. She's locked up tighter than a dick hat band, boy. Won't even turn. I kind of figured that, you know, I, I, I glued that, that stator back onto the, the main shaft. I was worried about it being balanced, you know, because all three pieces, well, it's four piece, the shaft, the end bell, the stator, the end bell. All four pieces were not glued together. And I had ordered the bearings. I had already ordered the bearings. I pulled it apart. So I just put it back together and hoped for the best, basically, basically. And I was doing the bench testing after I did the rebuild, the motor would get hot. I had I had shims. I put two shims up front, two shims up back. I had to play in there. And it would get warm on 3S. That's why I was like, I'm going to run it on 4S. If it blows up, it blows up. Because... So we're back at the shop. Figured I'd finish the video up here, like I said. Oh, we, uh, yeah, we definitely blew the motor up. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pull the, the motor out and pull it apart just for the hell of it. Like I said, it was just a, a quick rebuild and, and a test run. I figured, I kind of I kind of called it. I, I kind of figured it would happen. You know what I'm saying? Just by just by rebuilding the, the motor and seeing what, what was in there. You know, everything was off the main shaft. It, like everything, everything, you know? That, that right there is awesome. I got one that fits on there perfect, man. That 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 there is a ticket, boy. You can get in there and bend that bad boy any way you want it. Okay, that, that's the ticket, I'm telling you. It's the bee's knees, okay? The bee's knees. All right. What are these? 3.5s. Let's go ahead and test the ESC out real quick. Real quick. Let me get a battery. Alright, got a battery here. A little 7200KV2430. Alright, so the ESC is good. That's good. That's a good sound. It's a little 50 amp fly color that Brandon, Brandon sent me. And I, I didn't, oh man, I was, I'm glad it works. Because I, you know, I don't like blowing stuff up that people give me. So... Um, yeah, so, you know, I like this little 380 motor. It's, it's, it's an old motor. And for what it is, it's, it's not bad. Traxxas, they send you two bearings and some new screws to rebuild a motor with. You know, I got Traxxas bearings. And the bearings should be good. So I might just get another 380 Traxxas motor. I think it's a freaking six pole. <laughs> so the coils are good oh never mind the coils come unwrapped all right so you see that you see what i'm talking about now i see that that's the end bell i was talking about that's the end bell i was talking about that's what come unglued See the shaft? They come unglued. Oh, look at that. The, the magnet broke. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> that was that pop that we heard when, whenever I was accelerating. And uh, we heard that pop. It was the, the magnet exploding from the RPM. And it hit, and it hit the... The, the stator out here okay you know what i've been calling that damn rotor a stator this whole video i'm a freaking moron jeez i'm a moron golly so whenever i built this motor whenever i rebuilt it okay this piece the rotor not the freaking stator and 
the other end bell were all separate, okay, <laughs> off the shaft. And I'm wondering if it had a hairline crack in the magnet. That's that's why it was separated from the shaft in the first place. And I just didn't know it. This this magnet, the rotor has a stainless steel or a, a you know a metal wrap on it. So there's no way to inspect it. Uh, but I didn't see any cracks in it, or I wouldn't have put it back together. Whenever I did put it back together, I'm, I'm, uh, factory had some marks on the on the end caps and on the rotor, and I made a couple marks too. So when I put it back together, I knew I put it back together right because they actually balance these things at the factory. You know, uh, a lot of times they'll they'll either add some adhesive on the on the end bells. On the end caps or they'll actually drill into the end cap to re remove material remove weight but whenever I glued it back together I actually put put it in my vise and then I had I had one side in the vise no how did I do it I had a, a socket that's what I used I had a big socket in my vise you know on both sides and then I, I crimped it together for a couple days. You know, it's been it's been fixed for about two or three weeks. I had to get a drive dog. Uh, that's basically why I took the boat out. So yeah, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I kind of figured it would happen. I called it. I called it. And uh, I feel like a moron. I was calling the freaking rotor a stator the whole freaking time. Shot out, boy. I got a lot of stuff on my mind. <laughs> I ain't perfect. You guys know that. I got my... I got my freaking money's worth out of it. You know, it came with the 116th E Revo, which is three years old, you know. And I've had it in two separate boats. I had it in a Mini Mono and a little Miss Geico there. So, uh, yeah, I think I need to, I want to, I want to get three more, really. I like these little motors, and I want to say they're like six pole, man. I like these motors. I want to get two of them for that new 21 Catamaran build I got coming up. And I want to get one more for this guy here. Either this or a 2948. I'm not sure yet. So, yep, we'll see you guys next time. Just wanted to kind of explain what happened. Uh, you know, shit happens. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.